Google has actually launched an AI tool called Bard. And I think Bard is actually going to take over. You can see right here, Google is launching an artificial intelligence powered chat boot called Bard to rival ChatGPT. And why I think Bard is actually going to take over ahead of ChatGPT is a lot of people, not everyone knows ChatGPT, but everyone almost knows about Google. So Google adding Bard to the uh, search engine is actually going to be a game changer. That's actually going to be a mind blowing thing. And what is actually going to make Google win is I'm not sure they are going to attach any subscription to Bard as Microsoft invested money into chat GPT and I wanted to do it a paid subscription thing. I think Google is actually going to win there. So you can see the article right here and trust me, I was really, really impressed when I saw this. So like, Bard is used by a group of testers before being rolled out to the public in the coming weeks. So if you want to know how Bard is actually going to look like or how it's going to work, just subscribe to the channel because I'm actually going to be reviewing it again when it's being open to the public. And that is pretty much very cool. So Bard is built on Google's large language model Lambda, which one of the engineers described as a human-like in its response that he believed it was sentiment. So I think Bard is actually going to be very good. The tech giant analysis AI tool for the current search engine. So like I said, it's actually going to be attached to Google's search engine. And you should just picture how we are going to get such results when you search for something on Google after Bard is being attached or introduced to Google. And I think it's actually going to be a game changer. AI is actually taking over and I'm really, really liking this because um, at the point I thought maybe ChatGPT was actually going to make us miss how free we are able to just search for anything and all because not everyone is, is actually going to be able to pay for the subscriptions and all that. So if Google is actually bringing this, I think it's actually going to be very helpful. And that is pretty much very cool. So when you check out this section right here, ChatGPT can answer and carry out requests in text based on information as it was in 2021. It can generate speech songs make marketing copy new articles and students essays. So what is going to make Bard win is Bard is not going to be give you results based on 2021, whatever had that happened um, up to 2021, but I can give you above 2021, which is going to be 2022, 2023, because Google is in play and that is going to make ChatGPT lose over there. But you don't know what the developers are actually creating for ChatGPT. They might actually bring something that is really, really different. And what Google is actually doing is, you know, if Microsoft is able to do everything very well with ChatGPT, they are actually going to incorporate it into Bing and all that. And Google don't want Bing to take over whatever legacy they have right now. So that is why they are really, really going in hard, bringing on Barb to take over the situation or whatever is at stake right now. So I think AI is actually going to take us to places. And so in case you want to try some ChatGPT alternative apps on your phones too, you can check out this video right here and subscribe because when Bard is open to the public for beta testers, I'm actually going to review it and you guys are going to see how it works. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Peace.